Hi, I'm Randall, author of the blog Creative Schizophrenia on Healthy Place. I'm taking this video in front of a giant piece of cardboard because our renovation project is completely ripped up. I have a giant zit on my forehead even though I'm almost 30 and I'm not supposed to get zits anymore. And I have a big scratch on my face from my one-year-old son scratching me. Why am I starting a video this way? Well, I'm trying to be a little bit more unscripted, a little more spontaneous, and show a little more emotion, which ties into my topic for this video, which is negative symptoms of schizophrenia. It may come as a shock to you, but I used to do quite a bit of acting when I was in high school. I was lead role in a couple of musicals. I was no Robert Duvall or Tommy Lee Jones, reference to Lonesome Dove, my favorite movie, or Liam Hemsworth, who my wife wanted thrown in there because she thinks he's hot. Um, but I was a pretty good actor and had good emotional range. But since I began exhibiting symptoms of schizophrenia, it's been very difficult to show emotion and to feel emotion. Now, the feeling emotion part is something that I talk more about in my post, but showing emotion was not something I realized that I had such an issue with until my wife pointed out to me that she noticed that I was smiling a lot less, laughing a lot less, um, more of monotone expression in my voice, just basically showing less emotion. And so showing emotion and being spontaneous is something that I really have to work at if I want to be more like that. Now in terms of feeling more emotion, which is probably the bigger issue with negative symptoms of schizophrenia, it's really an uphill battle. Um, I don't feel much joy in things that used to bring me a lot of joy even when I'm not feeling depressed. I avoid the avoid spending time with others. I avoid spontaneous activities. I don't talk as much as I used to, especially when I'm not feeling well. And it's it's really hard. It's hard to live life when you essentially don't feel like you're getting anything out of life. And so my message to those of you who may be experiencing the same or similar symptoms is to find those reasons that you are living and focus on those reasons and focus on the feelings that you have for them. Like for me, it's my children and my wife and the love that I have for them. And I'm working to focus on that and focus on what I used to feel and what my love for them should elicit and that's great joy and I'm just really trying to get back into my life and overcome those negative symptoms so that's my message for you guys hang in there